Welcome back guys, it's AG, you watch your math to the max. Today we will discuss polynomial vocabulary. Let's check out our vocabulary. So when looking at polynomials, you want to make sure it's in standard form. That just means the exponent is the highest exponent going first, and then you just count down. So if I start out with x to the fifth, and I go down x to the fourth, x to the third, x to the second, x to the first, and then you're constant. You want to know the degree. When they say, what's the degree? Just the highest exponent. It would be a number, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 7, 8, 9, just a number. Leading coefficient, line leader, is a number, though, in the front when it's in standard form. Leading term is the number and the variable together. It could be a constant if it's only one term. But it's normally going to be a variable in a number. Constant term, when we say a constant, we're only saying a number. All right, let's look at this example. So we have a polynomial function right here. x to the third plus 2x to the fourth minus x minus 1 plus 5x squared. Now, I want to put it in standard form. So you're going to look and say, okay, hey, what's the highest exponent I see? I see a 3, a 4, a 1, a constant, and then a 2 as far as the exponent in order reading from left to right. So the highest one is 4, and you just count down based on what you have in the example. So the final answer for your standard form, 2x to the 4th plus x cubed plus 5x squared minus x minus 1. So now we have it in standard form. What's the degree? What's the highest exponent? It is a uno, dos, tres, cuatro, four. All right, what's the leading coefficient? What's the number in the very front? You got it, two. What's the leading term? Leading term is the number in the variable. The number in the variable, so it's number two in the variable. But you got to bring the four on it because the exponent can't be by itself. The exponent is always attached to a base. And the constant term, what's the number only in the problem? Negative one. You can't say one. One is positive. It's not positive. That's a negative. The next vocabulary, term name. What do we mean by term name? So monomial, the prefix mono means one. That's an example. X, that's just one term. There are several examples, that's just one example. Binomial, bicycle, two wheels. So binomial is two terms. That's an example. Trinomial. Tricycle, triangle, that means three terms. And these are all types of polynomials. And the prefix poly means many. So normally, we, if you have four more terms, we're just going to call it a polynomial. Vocabulary about the function name. Constant, no variable. Linear, x to the first power. Quadratic, x to the second power. Cubic, x to the third power. Quartic, x to the fourth power. Quintic, x to the fifth. Those are the function names. What's the process? Just know your vocabulary. There's no process. Just Know your vocabulary. So this is just standard based vocabulary, nothing to solve. It's just identifying. All right, you already know what time it is. It's time to go to work. Put in standard form which means the highest exponent. I see the highest exponent will be right here, five. And what's the invisible exponent? One, and then this is your constant. So our standard form. What is the degree? Degree means 
the highest exponent, which is five. Identify the leading coefficient. What is the number in the very front? Now you remember, that's an invisible number. If I say I got PlayStation 5, how many PlayStation 5s? It's one of them. If I didn't say a number, X to the field means one of them. And that whole term, remember, is the variable. And the exponent can't go away. So X to the field, the constant, what's the number? Just the number. Five. Name the polynomial. So what's the name for X to the fifth? That is a quintic. Number terms. How many terms is it? Oh no. Three is a trinomial. Number two. All right, let's put it in standard form. We'll only see a one and a two, so the highest would be the two and then the one. All right, degree. The degree is the highest exponent, which is two. The leading coefficient. What's the number in the very, very front? Three. All right, leading term. See, this This is just vocabulary. Knowing the vocabulary, what's the constant? There's an invisible plus zero. So you can say zero, or you can say no constant. Either one of those is acceptable. Name the polynomial by the function name. So what is a X to the second? Call. That's the name of the function, or we might say degree name as well. That's quadratic. How many terms? Two terms. Uno, dos, which is by number. All right, guys, so it's pretty easy. So just pause the video and see if you got the answers for three and four. Now you can identify the polynomial vocabulary terms. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share. Until next time, always striving for excellence and reaching for success.